Welcome to Board Game Archaeologist, where we play time-worn games from the past. I'm Hunter. I'm Rob. And today, we're looking at Aggravation. Aggravation from Lakeside Industries 1970. Um, it's for two to six players and for all ages. The objective of the game, similarly to Trouble and Soaring, is to get your base pieces into your home. And the parts include the board and the marbles. And we each get our own individual dice for each color. And to usually start out, what you'll do is you'll roll to see who goes first. Tie. As many times as it takes <laughs> to do so. And then you'll take a moment to, similarly to trouble, you want to roll a 1 or a 6. A 6 means that you can roll again. We think that this also applies to getting out, so getting out would be a 6. And then you would roll again to do something past that. But you can't jump over your own marble in this game. So if you're at a point that you can't move, you have to forfeit your round. That's one thing different than trouble and uh, than sorry. Yeah, another thing that's different because really there's, uh, there's more similar things than different things for this game. But another different thing is the shortcut, which is when you land directly on this blue circle, you end your turn, and then the next turn you take, you roll and you kind of travel along these as you go. Right, and you can also roll the exact number to get to the center, and this is another optional. Um, the, the speedways are optional. You don't have to play it that way, but it's fun to do that. Um, the one thing about going into the center, it can get you right back to home pretty quickly, but the only way to get out is to roll a one. Because otherwise, the game plays very similarly in that you're just trying to rush around the board as quickly as possible, hopefully landing on a player which sends them back to base. But really, just getting into home on that direct count is still the name of the game. What would you like about the game? I really kind of like the... Uh, I both like and dislike the marbles, because uh, they're very colorful, they're very distinct. And I, I, However, if you knock the board around a little bit, they'll just roll right out of place. And unless you have a really good memory, uh, you're going to get a little lost. And I think when we were younger... I think we did exactly that when we were losing because you can never put the things back. Reading the instructions and replaying this game showed me where with trouble and sorry I would get it wrong, especially with trouble because it was a die game. Um, I always thought it was six and one. This is the game that was six and one. Trouble wasn't. And I, that's where it got in my head. And I think we just kind of used the same rules that we like from this game to trouble and just continued to play that way. And I'm the same way. The marbles have been haunting all, all the uh, my life. That uh, You get a little bummed out, and the marbles just kind of go rolling across the thing. Cool thing is they were all included in the set. Yeah, and I also just really like uh, the variety of the different colors. They're very vibrant, too. Yeah, it's, it's very old school. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to know more about us, check us out at toyarchaeology.com. You can find us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and tell your friends. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.